If you haven't had pizza yet today, you probably will soon, maybe even for lunch. Americans eat 350 pizza slices every second, and there are approximately 70,000 pizzerias in the United States, making up about 19% of the total restaurants. So one man knows just about every different kind of pizza Americans love, and he's here with some fun pizza facts. Craig Preby, author of the new book, The United States of Pizza. Welcome. Craig, great Thank to you. have you. It's great to be here. When Thank people you. people talk about great pizza, they tend to focus on Chicago and New York, but you say the history is far richer than that. It is. There's, you know, there's so many amazing pizzas across the United States, and over the past 50 years, things have really gone crazy. Yeah. Um, you know, I've, I've identified eight those that really most pizzas across the U.S. are made from. That would be like a corn flour, a whole wheat flour, a sourdough, a Naples dough, a Sicilian style dough. Uh, Gluten free is really big. Oh my gosh. And, so we could do a whole segment just on the dough, but yeah, I want to talk about toppings. Uh, you say they vary <laughs> dramatically from region they do. to region. Let's start with the Northwest. What are you looking at there? Well, in the Northwest, they've got amazing agriculture there, and they got a lot of great resources, and the flavors are really earthy and artisan. So you've got a you've got a white bean pizza with mm. roasted asparagus. That kind of flavor is really the Seattle vibe. And what's distinctive to Detroit? Detroit, of course, there's a pizza that's been invented since the auto boom, and it's the Detroit Red Stripe Pizza. It's got two hot rod peel-outs of red sauce straight down the center, <laughs> Love and it's it. covered with cheese that's baked really hot and crispy. Love it. Now, moving down to the South, how do they like their pizza in Kentucky? In Kentucky, they, they love the Derby, and there's a lot of traditions there, and they carry on to their pizza, like the hot brown sandwich invented at the Brown Hotel, and that has covered with Gruyere cheese sauce and turkey and bacon, and that's in a pizza at in uh, in um, Kentucky. It actually sounds delicious. Now moving up to the Atlantic coast where we know they love their seafood. Does that yes. seafood make it onto the pizza? Seafood is really big on the Atlantic coast of pizza. You'll find pizza with clams, you'll find mussels, you'll find shrimp, mm -hmm. lobster, and, and really showcased on top of a crust. That's it's right beautiful. up my alley. I, I love, love a little seafood on I my pizza. Too. Now what are three of the weirdest pizzas uh, you came across in There were travels? plenty. <laughs> and I included them in the book because I think they're special. There was a pierogi pizza, and that's filled with mashed potatoes, sour cream, and Havarti cheese. Mm. It's amazing. You eat this potato sandwich. <laughs> then there's a there's a mac and cheese, another another carb bomb. It's mac and cheese on a whole wheat crust, and you can eat this with your hand. That looks pretty amazing, it's pretty, I have to it's say. It's pretty awesome. Scary awesome. amazing. Anything shock you well, that you came across? There was, um, you know, I was kind of surprised about the prevalence of gluten-free crust mm. in the United States. A lot of people are eating less gluten. It doesn't mean you can't have pizza and in my book I've been I put in a wonderful gluten-free recipe just so even if you're not gluten-free you, you would love this crust. Fantastic so tell us about this classic New York pizza you brought with you today. This is from Patsy's. Oh we and, love Patsy's. Oh it's so special it's in the book too this is the margarita from Patsy's mm. it's a famous pizza just tomato basil and cheese and a coal fired oven you got this amazing char on the bottom yeah, of it. How do they do that how do they get that oh, char look, on the there's back? the oven is about 1,200 degrees, oh, and it delicious. goes in very quick and very hot. I the, love that. I actually love that little burnt taste. That it's you get delicious. You and it's nice and salted. Do they put salt on the top of their... I they do, a little bit of sea salt. You know, this yes. was Frank Sinatra's and the Rat Pack. This is their hangout. This place is famous. Craig, thank you so much for bringing me <laughs> my lunch break today <laughs> on Lunch Break. Thanks so much, Craig. Cheers.